This week we're pushing on to try and complete one of the biggest goals in the account that we've had for about five years. We're also taking on a new challenge that we started last week with the Corrupted Gauntlet in hope of maybe, you know, not getting dunked on by the Big Red Moose and uh, maybe spooning ourselves a seed. Find out what we got up to this week after the intro. After the loss of my hardcore Iron Man status, a new adventure is born. Carrying on from where I left off, without the fear of death looming overhead, there's no holding back. This is Dead Smithy, and welcome to my Iron Man progression series. Right, so we are starting off with, uh, it's the the Gauntlet, not Gauntlet. Um, 1kc on the old Corrupted, and 49 on the normal Gauntlet. We've got nothing on the log bar the cape from the first KC. And um, on the loot tracker, we're looking like this. We're currently 1.75 mil in there. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes up as we do some more KCs. Well, at least to try, attempt to do some more KCs. We'll see how we go. Yeah. Oof. No, you fucking big moose cunt! Oh, bollocks! Right, there we go. <laughs> there is 2kc. A new personal best of 10 minutes, 33. What are we going to get? Let's have a little look-see. Uh, coins, emeralds, blood runes, and some crystal shards to top it off. Not too bad. Also, I've kind of, like, if you watched last episode, you know that I was using the, uh, tier 2 armor to get my first KC. Uh, I've actually dropped down to the tier 1 armor. Um, it means, like, it's just a bit more chill in the prep phase. We're not running around like a, like, a headless chicken. Um, if we've got a full inventory of food, it doesn't really matter if we're taking a little bit more damage every time we're praying and we get hit. So um, I think it's a pretty good trade-off. Tier 1, not bad, not bad. And then two Tier 3 weapons. Hey, there we go, there is 3kc. Oh, a little bit longer, but, you know, let's have a look-see-loo what we get. Oh, room plate bodies, lovely, yeah. Alcables, alcables, but where's my, where's my spoon on the seeds? Where, where's my spoon? I was meant to get spooned. I slipped Jagex a fiver. They were meant to, they were meant to spoon me. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. There is 4KC. All right, are we going to get anything this time? Probably not. Nah, oh, look at all those Alcaballs. <laughs> look at them all, bloody hell. Right, scores on the doors at the moment are 26 deaths, 4KC. So we've died eight more times compared to... No. Yeah, eight more times on top of what, like the 18 that we did to get to our first KC. It's not bad, it's not bad. Also, a lot of people in the last video uh, suggested using the true tiles and marking Hunluff as well, so you can see where the melee range is. All, and, and also like the uh, the Hunluff helper, Hunluff helper thing, where it starts speaking at you and telling you one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. For me, it's all a bit sensory overload. There's too much shit on the screen and things are glowing at me and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So... I'm trying to do it as raw dog as possible. <laughs> it's the only term I can really think of um, without all that sort of stuff. Because um, for me, I find them overwhelming. Um, there's too much shit going on on the screen. And if you kind of learn it through muscle memory on how to deal with things, it means, I well, personally, I find it makes it easier to transition into actually being good at something. Um, and things become a bit more, you know, second nature. So... A lot of people did suggest it. Uh, I have tried True Tile before. It freaks me out a little bit. So <laughs> that's why I've not got it on. Right, just quickly before I go in, uh, a little strat that I've been using is um, whenever I start off, I always go one to the right of the starter thing. Then I kind of loop up here, go down to this one, down, and then tag this one, see if anything's there. If it's safe, go in, tag this one. 
then go across, see what's in here, tag that one to see if there's a demi boss. Go all across, tag this one, see if there's a demi boss. Obviously, find resources as I go. Then tag this one, see if there's a demi boss. This time around, I didn't have a demi boss, so I went back to the middle, went over to the two that I've already gone through and fished those, and then checked these three and found the demi bosses that I want. Uh, but anyway, time to go and face Hunter for the big moose. Oh, God, that is cutting it fine, that one. <laughs> But there we go. There is Corrupted Gauntlet Veteran, which I assume is for getting 5kc. There's a guy in the clan chat. I don't... I thought, um... Thingamajig's uh, combat achievements are meant to go there anyway. It doesn't really matter. That gives us four more points, and... Ooh, a nice lot of, uh... Algable rune stuff. Also, that pathing stuff that I mentioned, um... Clip before the last clip. Um... All the details for that are actually on the Discord, so if you want to go and get, you know, the uh, kind of like a nice little um, map diagram that actually I got off of the r slash Ironscape subreddit that someone had put together, uh, a Corrupted Gauntlet prep uh, kind of sheet, cheat sheet kind of thing that was actually really handy when I was learning. Um, I put all the information over on the Discord, and we've made some adjustments as well. Um, with sort of where demi bosses spawn on the map, and yeah, just some useful info. So if you really want to, uh, you know, start doing corrupted gauntlet, or you're just interested in that kind of thing, head over to the Discord. Links, links down below. I probably should say that as well. No. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to leave in the full clip of that, this little bit. <laughs> I redemptioned, or, or whatever it is, yeah, redemptioned about three or four times. <laughs> I don't know what it is. The melee ones, I just can't fucking do. Like, it, 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 especially if you get it on the, um, on the tornado phase with the, like, you've really got to, like, not Wooks Walk, because Wooks Walk doesn't really work with it because you've got the tornadoes going off and my brain cells can't compute that level of gaming. But, ah, uh, you'll see, you, you would have seen it. <laughs> Oh, no, the redemption didn't flick. No! <laughs> the room RNG on that last one, stinky. To say the least, terrible. But ah, oh, well, we go again. Right, there we go. That is actually our first melee win, which is rather nice. Uh, we're going to get rewarded for it though. That is 6kc. Nah, just a lot of uh, a lot of rune stuff. And you know, some bus... A few bus rides home. Another thing as well is the uh, imbued magic shortbow now has this really cool little lighting effect on it, which is really sick. Um, yeah. It actually stand out as something different than just a, a standard magic shortbow, which is really, really fucking cool. Tell you what, I bloody love rooms like this one where you've got a... Uh, all three of the tier one bits that I need and uh, some guams and a fishing spot really does uh, really does help out with being efficient in your prep.
Oh, fuck's sake. One thing I do really, really, really dislike about this is the bloody walls around the arena. Like, when you're trying to keep camera movements all like this, it's like, oh, wall, 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 and you're like, pain in the ass. Fuck off, you moosey twat. Oh, right, there we go. There is another one. KC7. There's Big Dean. Anything? Nah, mate. Just some alcohols. Right, you know what? I'm going to go and take a little break from the gauntlet. Um, we're really close to 97 magic, so I'm going to go and do that. And in gauntlet crap, uh, which is now a unit of measurement, um, we have that much. Two and a half mil. Uh, and on the tracker, uh, we've got 2.9 mil on there as well, which uh, is pretty good. All right, you might be able to guess where I'm off to. Hold on, I'm watching that new Ant-Man film. Um, I'm just going to deposit the cape in here. There we go, another one ticked off. You can probably guess where the fuck I'm going. The best way to train your magic is Barrows. Right, first Barrows of the trip. <laughs> it's a Carol's leather top, and... Uh, it's not an Arum's robe top, so sad. Okay, so let's quickly have a look at the log, shall we? That was our fourth Arum's top. Right, any back-to-backs? Nope, not today. Right, anything? No. Right, here we go again. <laughs> Bloody Darok plate legs. Number 1455. Uh, How many is that now? Those bloody things. Six. There you go. Right, that's on me. I uh, <laughs> wasn't paying attention. There is 97 magic coming in. Oof. Two more levels, and that's another 99 on the cards. And now, come on, let's celebrate with an Aaron's rope top. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool, cool, cool. Right, uh, um, 1460. Oh, yeah. 14.61. Uh, 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 uh. Right, 1462. Oh my god. That's trash! Let's go! The fucking Verax flail, man! The Verax flail! It exists! Oh my god! That means, that means only one item to go. Oh, bruv. Look at it! Verax has been completed. It's just the Arim's robe top. Oh. Oh. The home stretch, some may call it. Oh, jeez. 1465, the Verax flower has been found. Oh, we've got to put it on. Why do I... Oh, is it too... Double-handed, isn't it? Look at it. It does look cool, but I'm never I'm never going to use it. <laughs> How's that log looking again? <sighs> oh, getting excited. Right, can we go back to back on uniques? No, no we can't. <laughs> that would be way too good, wouldn't it? Right, 1467. Come on. Da. Okay, we are back at Barrows for another day. And we're starting off with a load of shite. Right, here we go. 1469. Ah, uh, nothing. Okay, 1471. Verax Helm. Cool, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Right, 1474. Oh, an arrow, Carol's crossbow. Cool, yeah, sick. How many of them we got now? Let's have a look. Seven. Nice. How many uh, Verax Helms? Four. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Right, 1477. Let's drop a good luck in chat. Ugh. <laughs> Ooh, that's a stinky one. Right, 1478. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That's awful. Jeez. Right, 1483. Nothing for me. Right, what do you reckon? Do you reckon we're going to get the Aram's top 
before 1500 KC. Place your bets in the comments. <laughs> right, down goes Arim. Arim's top? No, 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 no. Right, here we go again. Oof, oof. New day, new dawn, feeling good. Bum, 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 Nice. Right, 14.95. Oh, good God. Right, 14.96. It gets worse. Right, 1498. Trash. Right, here we go. 1499. That is abysmal. <laughs> right, here we go. The big 1500. And it's trash. <laughs> All right, we're doing another one. 1501. It's still, still dog water. <laughs> right, 1502. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Okay, right, this is going to be our last one, I think. 1503. <laughs> this is better than the last one. Right, come on then. Let's have a look at how this log's looking. So we're 1503 KC. Collection log. Barrow's chests. Still just the Arum's robe top to go. But that lovely flail came in clutch this week. We love to see it. We love to see it. And... Where is the gauntlet? We're up to 7kc now there. And 97 magic, you know, it's a big week, it's a big week. But that is going to do it for this week. So, like I said, we were one level in magic up to 97, bringing us to 2074 total level. Uh, and I've already shown the kcs. Um, but yeah, I guess the <laughs> loot from 1500 barrows is not a complete log, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But, you know, we move, we move. Um, but anyway, if you are new around here, please do consider subscribing. Drop a like because it helps the algorithm. And the comment of the episode is, Arams, get your top off. Now, don't put that. That sounds... <laughs> Where's that Arams top? Just put that. Anyway, shout out to all of our channel members of Will, Steve, Sufi, Beef, Maid, AJ, Hedner, Thameskate, Rayleigh, Chair, Raw, Johnny, King Dragon, Gim Calder, uh, Celestine, Snotbones, and Big H. Sh thank you for the continued support through the membership program if you want to get involved in that. There's a join button down below. It'll give you all the information that you need. There's also merch as well. I never really plug it, but there's merch. There's a merch link down below if you want to go and get some uh, sweet sweet threads that I've made. I've not made them. Um, I did the designs though. Half credit. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.